October 19th. I'm Mark Kelly with your news to go right now. So a federal judge dismisses a lawsuit challenging a gambling agreement to let the Seminole tribe control sports betting across Florida. The suit was filed back in July when lawmakers approved the deal between the state and the tribe. Well, the agreement essentially says gamblers can place bets online, which would then run through computer services on tribal property. However, any bets made off tribal property that would be violating federal law. The families of the Parkland school shooting victims have reached a settlement with the Broward County School District, and according to one of their attorneys, $25 million is set to be divided between the families of people who were killed, injured or traumatized in the mass shooting at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in 2018. The largest payments will go to the 17 families whose loved ones were killed that day. Now, attorney David Brill says while the settlement is not signed and sealed yet, the details have been worked out. Now we here at WPBF 25 News did reach out to the Broward County School District to get a response. They said they will not comment because it's pending litigation. Also, only a few days left to request a vote by mail ballot for the U.S. House District 20 special primary election coming up in November. It's November 2nd. Now that district covers parts of Broward and Palm Beach counties. The race is to fill the seat left vacant by the late Congressman Elsie Hastings, who passed away back in April. Now, if you want to vote by mail, you have to it has to be mailed to you. The deadline is Saturday. You can also request them in person until November 1st. Sandra. All right, and weather wise, take a look at your first morning day planner. It's just beautiful out there. We'll see the highs today with plenty of sun at 82 to 84. Low humidity, the big takeaway with northeast winds. That's your news to go.